Welcome back to Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. And it's a literally, uh, it's a special reaction for me. Chris Coleco Locksmith, Vin J. Go off. Well, I did. I'm going to make sure I put uh, willing to smoke at the end of this one. So if you stay, it's a double feature. And this is also just a Mike Henry special. It's been a long time, but the channel's first year owes uh, so much to uh, one subscriber. And uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't never heard no locksmith, but that's on the channel. I didn't never heard no Vin J. That's on the channel. And why? Because uh, Mike Henry marathons and uh, requests and, and um, just nothing but the most solid support a, uh, a, a creator could come up with, you know, because half the time it was check this out, but please go off. Share your opinions. I will. And I have. And I don't think that stopped yet. So, uh, I, I just to the universe and someone that I uh, relied on when I didn't know what I was doing yet. And if you go and watch the bonus one after it, I, I clarify a couple things. I rant like an idiot. But, uh, yeah. Because there's always that, you know, letting the fear go off inside you. And not overcoming it. That's also something that you can go through. And you get the right support, it goes away. And I had that. Oh, I have it. Every single day. So, if you're just a fan of the artists, I don't know. There's probably people who are going to run around in circles and be just the coolest thing since uh, uh, YouTube created talking about it. And then, you know, it's something completely different. Come on back. Otherwise... Let's go. Ah. A chop and breed a lot to see. I'm jumping out the window with a pot to pee and hot spots, but it's hot to be and hot shot. Never stop, stop, stop giving props to T. And I'm not one of them. I can never be a regular, regular, regular. He put a better and he not really slim. Shady, but the way he ate it on speed, him and him and him, I believe him when he can get him an open eye. Hopes be hoping they can get him a broken, clean his open eye. Praise him like he the Pope when he can stroke it, never broken. I focus on hoes and hope he's the closest to goes supposed to be doing the dope. how we know we're open. Oh, couple new news who was you never be better than veterans when we blew. Wait, pause. We cheat him, beat him, never beat him, beat him, we done beat him. Be done, never be on see I'm going oh, no, I ain't worry about nothing. Nick, get to me and think about part. I guess. I'm just saying that's uh that's some solid uh, that's some that's a, that's a good flow. I'm not that guy. That's what I said. Go find a person who knows how to define all that shit, but that is awesome. Here I hear a lot of really similar uh, cadences. I don't know the right way to say it. To make it sound like I know something. I fucking don't know nothing. I've been warming up the bus for an hour. I'm never be on see I'm going off. Oh! No, I ain't worried about nothing. Nick, get to me and think about punting. Preach and get rich and know I look at in the picture. If I sip a little liquor, you can betcha I'm going off. Like what I do to production, I look inside of myself and I spit it back for consumption. I'm taking a lesser pad, making a little bit less. I had thicker skin, pick the pin up and throw away the pad. What? Let them snicker, the jealousy turns to bitter. Ness, I progress while they continue to flicker. True. I recall a few moments facing the obstacles, couldn't swallow my breath when my mama was in the hospital. I was trying to suppress what the doctor told me was probable, probably about to fall into depression, pressing my pop to move. Yeah. Instinctual on the brink, and I'm bringing you a brief life parable. What I've seen is unbearable. I could care less if my message is more shareable. What? Most of you rappers out is terrible. I go off. Oh, oh, shit. And I just had one the other day. I did a did a track, a reaction to a song. I got nothing. I have nothing but love for the artist. So we won't say much more than that. But uh, the possibilities of good messaging got lost in some poor messaging, and uh, uh, I wanted to go off, so I, I didn't make it available for public consumption. Uh, this, with as much speed, fire, life. Uh, some some cool stuff in there. Seems like there's shit to think about all on the same time, which 
I, I just really think this channel appreciates more than almost anything else. I mean, yeah. One, yeah, he's got a beat. You can dance to it. Whatever. You know, it's cool. Second, does it replayability? We'll go with that. Third, does it get up in there? I mean, it's, God. I get it. Feelings are awesome, but I really want thoughts to generate. If I want anything to happen, I want the uh, uh, synapses to fire chaotically and go off, creating new neural pathways of uh, I think about shit I never thought about before. Yeah, less of my message is more shareable. Most of you rappers out is terrible. I go off. No, I ain't worried about nothing. Nick, get to me, ain't thinking about pun. Rich and getting rich, and no, I look at it in the picture. If I say that's catchy shit, I go off. Okay. Unlimited with the hits, pull up all of the fans, lighter than motocross. I blow the song and the profit go through the ceiling, even with the anesthetic. You know that they gotta feel that I'm a ho chop in general, never short of incredible. A single hit'll kill him, you can't touch it. I'm fatting all, don't need a pedestal. Record label, commas, the decimals, a pen and pad has been plenty for making my life impeccable. You would never believe him, and they've been calling me to go like the head of a demon. I'm coming to kill him, I ain't leaving them a second for grieving. The microphone is a weapon, they met your head when I'm preaching. You hear the you, you, you can hear the angels singing, I've never been afraid or timid to raise a limit. You gotta embrace and pivot that faith and winning. Go let them motherfuckers know that you came to get it, come on. No, I ain't worried about nothing. Nick, get to me, ain't thinking about pun. Yeah, Rich, you're getting rich. And, and there, and it's like, cause that, that's just like, like, that seemed like a whole lot of you just can't touch this shit bars, which you know, I like. But um, uh, m my willingness to participate, uh, I stay tuned for round two. I mean, it's... Uh, Microphone is a weapon, they met your head when I'm preaching, you hear the you, you, you can hear the angels singing, I've never been afraid or timid to raise a limit. You gotta embrace and pivot that faith and winning. Go let them motherfuckers know that you came to get it, come on. Oh yeah, so stay around for number two. We'll see if I came to get it or not. But I certainly, personally, and I, that, isn't that the point? See, it's like if I'm gonna reflect and take something from my music, I'd like it to be more than bending hose over the back end of my car and uh, blowing a bunch of cocaine. Or that is the starting point to the fucking world that's unraveling right before people's eyes on... Uh, yeah, no, there's some stuff going on out there in the industry. Weird. And then personally, I'm just watching all the people who've been and called it out for a long time and and it's one of those i the duckies and i are just sitting back going hey i remember years ago i went down what it meant to master an album and uh if you think that's some electronic digital process you're you're fucking high Shh. but that's round two go go watch the next one the, the next one will explain that but i just no, I ain't worried about nothing. Nick, get to me, ain't thinking about pun. Rich and getting rich, and no, I love it in the picture. If I sip a little liquor, you can betcha I go That was fire, and you know, I I wouldn't know nothing about it. Calm, cool, collected, always, always just concise and to the point, never rambling or ranting. I wouldn't know nothing about it. I just straight go off whenever possible. So man, this song is a uh, uh, fun, even to my own detriment. But that's okay. Uh, and that that being, uh, why are you so crazy? Why, you're drunk. What are you talking about? <laughs> Chris Coleco, Locksmith, Vin J, go off. I would say that was super enjoyable. Stick around. Now it's gonna it's gonna seem like just a regular reaction, but I'm gonna I'm gonna edit them together because uh, I I went a little hard in that next one. <laughs> Take care. Give care. Give care when you're rolling the blunt so you don't break them apart.
Hey, good morning. Something out of like a Black Sabbath song, but not really. Way too pink for that. Uh, Chris Coleco, Ritz, willing to smoke. Yes. Yes. I'm not high, but I'm willing to smoke Up in a way if it gets me down I take a puff, puff, pass if it's gas Okay, okay I'm not high, but I'm willing to smoke Up in a way if I can't come down I keep a couple pre-rolls in the stand oh. They call me the GOAT but I'm dead broke. Devil keep offering me the coat. But I said no. Keep it moving like a date. With a gold spoke. Oh, shit. I Because I just went through 20 minutes of reaction, reaction where I let the lyrics go and I just enjoyed the song. And I I should do that here. But that that line, that's too, that's too much. Perfect. Uh, I talked about it plenty. Damn, that's so hard to do. The little blue book and that token there represent the devil as per those bars we just uh, uh, heard and uh, uh, warming up the bus nonstop keeps the devil's wolves at bay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, that's what I'm hearing here, which that's it. It was, it was, uh, I couldn't get my shit together until I decided there was one thing that I, you know, no consequences or the, that I can, you know, no consequences aside. Uh, the obvious um, kept everything else because it was like, eh, I don't care. Wait, I can do all that blow off that whore's belly? Nah, I'm going to go out with my guys and smoke a joint. I'm cool. I'm cool. Right? Because, uh, as that empire or one of the satanic sexual drug cult empires uh, comes crumbling, Trump crumbling to the ground, I think it's safe to say that there was all kinds of artists the whole time who probably didn't engage in that shit and had to give a lot of uh, a lot of individuals a wide berth because they represented a straight track to the uh, dark side. And, uh, you know, you just, you don't want to use the dark side of the force. They call me the goat, but I'm dead broke. Devil keep offering me the coat, but I said no. Keep it moving like a date. With a gold spoke, you know it off of contact. Might as well go smoke. If I'm close to the house and I'm posted, I get toasted. Might as well I put one of the win. I run a laugh till I run it again. Baby mama know and I want it again. Adrenaline, I'm feeling like a cup of coffee do. Hit the dead and then it get the ugly sauce of all for you. They can't get him in a place with cloudy faces. Fill the room, trying to put the chronic on me. Do what I don't normally do. Stressed, I don't really want to cry. So I blow one to the sky. Fly, fly. Yeah, and then I get this. Cause I was just thinking about this. The whole group that condemns it's like all or nothing. And, and they're like, oh, the weed make Here's the same people that condemn the weed probably shouldn't do anything. Don't drink coffee either. Because instead of some sort of medicinal stress relieving, um, uh, yeah. hey, instead of me pounding down sugary cow asshole uh, energy drinks to uh, get my focus and this and that, uh, why don't I go with something that works for me? Feels pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about that side. But definitely doesn't push me over the edge. Because if that's pushing you over the edge, then it turns out you, yeah, you better you better not take aspirin or caffeine or anything. I'm just saying. I, I know I have a dependent personality. I know I'm willing to abuse many things. So then I look at what, if it's all abuse, then yeah, don't touch none of that shit. There, I don't know, I don't, 
I don't really know because I ain't been a heroin addict. And that's not the kind of junkie I was. It's a crackhead. But, uh, methadone and um, that whole thing. And then thinking back to when the ex-wife and I uh, helped our neighbor come down and, and kick the shit. And um, I, I would never say, I, I, you know, there, there's probably things out there that need to exist for the right mindset. Is that what I'm looking for? Is this a, you should only be willing to smoke if your mindset so aligns and that it is never an endorsement. Uh, here, I think you're getting some, some positive reasoning. I like that. That's, I think this is right up my alley. I really do. Um, I'm not trying to take away from the vibe, but then I'm not here to exploit his tune uh, uh, or get inspired by it. And then check out the brand new one that's coming out that just came out yesterday. And uh, give a shout out to uh, my, my bromance with uh, Mike Henry. And I hope he's well. I really do. Man. But with the amount of time spent on this channel that he did, I understand. Uh, I am willing to smoke one in his name now. Put the chronic on me, do what I don't normally do. Stressed, I don't really want to cry. So I blow one to the sky. Fly, fly. Stressed, I don't really want to fly. So I blow one to the sky. Fly, fly. I'm not high, but I'm in the Up in a way, if it gets me down. I take a puff, puff, pass it. I'ma hit that witch up. When I finish it up, a menthol. When I cut back on the drinking, thinking the weed might treat my withdrawal. Uh, I felt laid back for a sec, then my high kicked in like lift off, and like my eyes just went crisscross. Yeah, like Go back and catch these, so I don't want to step on them. I know I step on the bars all the time. But just in case you're just a Chris Coleco Ritz fan, this is all complicated because it's mostly about my life. I just started a new job, and uh. I've worked in clubs before. This ain't a club, club, but you're going to have bands, there's music, there's a free drink every night. And it's not that I can't drink, I just shouldn't. It leads to bad places. So I have been most of my uh, cooking and uh, bar work has been, uh, that's a lie. Hey! Old Roland's just making sure you don't turn into a drunk right now. And uh, it's been easy, but I also they were only a week. But shit, yeah. Uh, always, especially when people on the channel think I'm drunk. That's just to fucking put on because I'm scared to push record some days. So I act like a fucking idiot. Because I can't smoke enough to ever. That's why I know it ain't. it, it can't be all that. Because I don't care how much weed there is in the world. I can't smoke that and then go up like an 80-story tower and fucking dance around on the edge. I'd, you know, I'd vomit. And death grip that shit. Because I'm not a big super fan of heights, even though I worked on edges and in, in, in heights. Uh, uh, entertaining. I'm sure, even though I could stand in front of an auditorium and talk, I'm sure it'd be like there was a literal, you know, like war in my guts. The whole time. And no matter what I smoke, that never goes away. So it certainly can't be some, uh, hey, I've done enough cocaine that I thought I was going to die. I drank so much I couldn't remember three to four days, right? You know, they, okay, that's that's complicated. I was on a lot of shit then. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I lost five days of my life, woke up in a hospital as a John Doe. That shit's real. Uh <laughs> I'm not just trying to ruin the song. I'm saying uh, life's tough. At the same time, uh, I've 
certain environments are much uh, better, more conducive to uh, success than, uh, you know, standing next to my peers at the factory building widgets. I mean, there's I mean, a struggle there. I'm willing to smoke, though. Smoke for the night, I'ma hit that with y'all. When I finish it up, I'm in thaw. Gonna cut back on the drinking, thinking the weed might treat my withdrawal. Uh, I felt laid back for a sec, then my high kicked in like lift off, and like my eyes just went crisscross, yelling like, God damn, what's this shit called? I'ma go find somewhere to drift off and enjoy my high. As soon as I start to calm down and kinda feel normal, I'ma put the flame to the trees like a forest fire. Said I'm laying on the floor, retired, taking off my Jordan fives, got a joint, it's a northern life. My boy got a pearl, but it off from the floor to Georgia line. Reminiscing, think about getting high when we were kids and such. So we in detention, so the principal suspended us. We used to blow them whole shotguns and hope our lips would touch. Lit it up, then I hit it once, and she like, can I get a puff? I don't really want to fly, so I blow one to the sky. Fly, fly. I'm not high, but I'm willing to smoke. Up in a way if it gets me down. I take a puff, puff, pass in this game. Okay. I'm not high, but I'm willing to smoke. Up in a way if I can't come down. I keep a couple pretty rolls in this game. I'd keep a couple pre-rolls too. I mean, that's just smart, just uh, good planning. Uh... Whose house? Die. house. That, what they said. Uh, I, very cool. Pink. Very pink. Uh, good times. Uh, some Northern Lights. I heard that reference. I was like, hey, I'm... Big fan of the Aurora Borealis. It's amazing, amazing views. Chris Coleco, Ritz, willing to smoke. Eh, eh, and then some, I guess. I'm going to go on to the new one next. Later. <laughs>